Oh, hello friends. Uh, today, uh, this is going to be a quick repair. It's a Nikkor 24mm f2.8, which has some kind of haze uh, in the rear lens. So, I don't know if you're able to see it. Just let me try to get it close. Okay, anyway. I was um, trying to clean it, and then I noticed... Uh, a few stains um, in the rear element as you can see here and they look uh, like haze but uh, not really so honestly I don't know what they are so what we're going to do is we're going to open the lens and then uh, we're going to check that and then uh, we're going to eliminate it too so this is uh, non diversion so I can remove the bayonet uh, uh, as I'm doing now so I don't need to take care about the connection block uh, since everything is in the bayonet anyway so It's really hard. Okay. So I remove the screws, then I take out the bayonet, and then, well, here I already did some work uh, in the sense of opening this, and then uh, what I did was to release this element here. And then to do so, just you need to be aware that uh, there is some glue in this hole here. Okay, you're able to see the hole. Okay, there is a small hole here, uh, which be root glue. So you need to add some uh, something stronger with that isopropyl alcohol. I use uh, acetonless. Um, nail uh, polish uh, removal and then uh, I was able to get this element loose here so just let me remove this because this is the thing we're going to work on today so nothing fancy the lens we can put it aside and then uh, And then here, uh, same thing, uh, we're going to disassemble this block, which is uh, very small, as you can see. And then, uh, to do so, um, first thing you need to do is to get uh, something to dissolve the glue, which is around here. I did it already. I use, again, a acetonless uh, nail polish removal, uh, and then I was able to... get uh, this element out using tweezers Oop. you can see the thing is very small so so spanner keys and everything didn't work so the only thing that worked were tweezers but then again you need to be careful with your tweezers so in order not to not to break them so I have the first element out which is rather clean I will put it aside then you have a second element here then again uh, you have some glue here that you need to remove too so and then once you get this thing out Get this element here which is also clean I already well I have to say I already did the disassembly and check what element was and then and we have this last element here and then uh, this element behind is the element which is dirty
This element is not really easy to remove because the slot for the for holding the lens is really shallow. Okay, so this is it. We open the block and then here uh, this element, these two elements here are the problematic ones. Just let me get something black here. these elements are the ones which are dirty I'm able to see you maybe not and then if I get really close here uh, you're able to see that uh, kind of stains or I don't know what it really is okay Anyway, we're going to clean all that. So, uh, to do so, uh, we we'll use uh, very standard stuff. Uh, just let me get my optical cleaning paper. Um, I forgot the focusing for a second. So, I get typical optical cleaning paper. Uh, Optical clean fluid here. I will leave also the link uh, to that uh, in the video description. I have also isopropyl alcohol for the pre cleaning, uh, and then that's it. Uh, so, uh, to do the cleaning, have the paper always cut in small pieces. So, I start by blowing to remove particles of dust then uh, we do an initial cleaning with isopropyl alcohol and then here it's rather limited so I will use this lens pen just to So, uh, I am back, I had, uh, I ran out of battery, so uh, the camera turned off. So, uh, I cleaned the, the previous element, I finished the cleaning. Then I have this one, which is the most problematic one. Uh, I'm using a two-step process for cleaning, so I do a first cleaning using isopropyl alcohol. Which much, mm, yeah, most of the time it is enough. Uh, then, uh, second thing I do uh, is I do uh, second cleaning with uh, optical cleaning fluid, uh, and then each time a new piece of paper. Uh, this is really important so to have uh, best results uh, with cleaning lenses so um, oh, thing is so small that it's so difficult to handle Okay, uh, I have uh, these all the stains which are gone. So I think this was haze information. Uh, I still need to do some cleaning to get it perfectly done. But it's looking good. So uh, yeah, I was saying this was probably haze information. Uh, we stopped it. So I think the lens uh, can go on uh, for yeah. How old it is? Maybe uh, 20, 30 years. Knowing that this generation of lenses was from uh, uh, the middle of the 80s, so 35 years probably. 
and then we'll keep going uh, for the next 35 years I think so now the, we stop at this uh, apparition of uh, haze okay so um, now it's a bit difficult to clean this uh, lens uh, so small and keep leaving traces so I will try one last cleaning and then I will move on because it is already far better than what I got and then it was this kind of haze so and then well it wasn't impacting photos much uh, but then uh, yeah I had a kind of loose of contrast so I think this was associated with this lens since uh, it is really 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 close to the um, to the sensor so this is where uh, dirty and everything else becomes really really critical so we start with the assembly so uh, this lens is not really easy to assemble because as you see it is rather small so first thing I need to do is just to get it in the slot which I'm not managing to do Okay, so you're seeing uh, that the work is not always easy in lens repair, especially when you get really small th things like this. But then, uh, once uh, you finish, uh, you're really, really, really happy because you have uh, given to a lens. Uh, which has uh, some age uh, it is still a very good lens huh? a Nikkor 24 millimeters is uh, a Nikkor 24 millimeters so okay so I got it assembled I got to tighten it be gentle with the tweezers okay so I got this now I have to clean uh, this lens to proceed uh, putting the second lens so I do as before So I think you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble in the, in the following lens, and then I will come back to you uh, just for the yeah to show you the rest of the assembly of the lens. So friends, I am back. I was able to clean uh, this optical assembly and reassemble, and as usual. Uh, uh, when working with optics, uh, the most uh, complicated part, in my opinion, is always the cleaning. Uh, here, uh, everything went well. Uh, it is not perfect because I don't have clean room. I don't have uh, uh, yeah uh, what I yeah optical clean fluids, uh, really powerful ones, and uh, that are used in industry but uh, 
I think it is far better than it was just with the haze. So I think uh, we can call this a success. So now I am reassembling the lens. So as before, uh, what I did just to uh, avoid uh, disassembling everything and principally losing the uh, the infinity focus, which is given by this element here. So uh, I didn't change much things. I just remove the optical block and clean it. Uh, this I'm happy, and then I just need to put the bayonet um, to finish the repair. But then, um, yeah, uh, I think uh, this is all. I just have the three screws to put. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Huh?